Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you remove a motion tween in Adobe Flash CS6. And the first thing I'm going to do is unhide our biker layer, which you can see here if you look at the timeline is hidden because there's a big red X in the visibility column for the biker layer. I'm simply going to click on the red X to make the biker layer visible again so that now I have biker and biker 2 visible on the stage at the same time. The next thing I'm going to do is double click frame number 1 on the biker 2 layer and you'll notice on the timeline when I double click frame number 1 that highlights the entire biker number 2 layer in blue from the span frame 1 through frame 40. Now technically I could have double clicked on any frame within the Biker 2 layer. It did not have to be frame number 1. You can double click on any frame within a layer that you're trying to select at that point. Now that Biker 2 is selected on the timeline, I can go to my Insert menu and simply click on Remove Tween and that gets rid of the motion tween on the stage for biker number two. And if you look at your timeline, you'll notice all of the keyframes from frame one through frame 40 for biker number two have disappeared. That's because we removed the motion tween for biker number two. Now, just to verify this, I'm going to play the movie by pressing my enter key on the keyboard. And you can see at this point, the only object that moves is biker number one. Biker number two stays stationary at the bottom of the screen. Now, that's exactly what I wanted, but if I want to undo that at this point, I can go to Edit and continue to choose Undo until I actually undo the command that got rid of the motion tween. You can see I'm there now on my Edit menu where it says Undo Remove Motion Tween. I click on that and that brings me all the way back to where I was when I started. You can tell this in two different ways. Number one, the motion tween is now once again visible on the stage. And if you look at your timeline for the biker number two layer, you'll see all of the keyframes from frame one through frame 40 are now back. Okay? Now, I can click biker number two on the timeline to make sure that that is the currently selected object. And then I can come down to the bottom of my timeline and click the delete button. That's the button that looks like a trash can. I'm going to click that and that gets rid of biker number two on the stage as you can see. And I'm going to test the movie again by pressing the enter key and you can see in testing the movie, biker number one now moves from left to right on the stage and biker number two is gone. At this point, I'm going to save my work, and that is a demonstration of how to remove a motion tween in Adobe Flash CS6.